Okay, a quick little thing on how to find the slope. I've already given you the first idea that you physically count the squares. Okay, so if I have a line there, I find any two points on the line, I put in my triangle, and I count that there is one, two, three, four down this way, one, two, three, four, five, six that way. And so I physically just count how many squares down, how many squares across. I notice that my slope is negative. So the first thing you'll always see me do is put in a negative sign for my answer. I notice that the four appears higher than the six. And I have drawn my triangle underneath the line, which I always do. Therefore, the four will appear above the six on my fraction. Okay. So that is absolutely consistent. And then finally, you go through and you simplify your fraction. Two into the top, two into the bottom, and there is the slope of the line, negative two-thirds. Now the second one is to use a formula. Now a formula is useful if they happen to say we have two points on the line. Let us say that we are trying to find the, the slope of the line joining those two points. What I do, even now, after all these years, is I still put in a little x1 and y1 there, and an x2 and a y2 there. You too can do that to help you get higher marks. It doesn't matter which one you call point one and which one you call point two. It just doesn't matter. And this means the x coordinate of point one and the y coordinate of point one. X coordinate of point two and the y coordinate of point two. Now to work with the equation, it says subtract your two y coordinates and put that over top of your two x coordinates subtracted. So every slope question, I start out the same way. 